Hey there, this is Todd at BizLadder. This short video is going to talk about editing text on your Wix website. Uh, it's very simple to do once you know where to look and how to get to the text area. So first thing you need to do is get into the Wix editor. What we're looking at here is the dashboard. Uh, yours might look slightly different because we're a Wix partner agency, but you'll always know you're in the dashboard when you see this vertical column on the left hand side. This is obviously on, in a, on a desktop or a laptop. Uh, mobile is entirely different. In fact, you can't get to most of this on a mobile device. So you're in the dashboard here. You can um, click edit site. Some of you may not have this. Let's get my picture out of the way. Some of you might have to go to quick access edit site. In any event, you're in the editor when you see this uh, smaller left hand column in, in white uh, with a white background over here. That's how you're in the editor. Once you're in the editor, you simply navigate to the page that you want to edit. You find the text box that you want to edit. Let's say I want to edit this. I just double click and this comes up. I can go ahead and type in whatever I want here. Let's say I didn't mean to do that. I just click back and it backs out of it. That's undo up here. Obviously you can see when I clicked into the text box, it brought up the formatting. This will look familiar obviously to anybody who's used Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Um, all of your formatting options here, but you simply click into the text box, make the changes you want, click back out, preview it, right? Always check the changes you made. Always check the changes that you made on your mobile version as well, right? You want to make sure it shows up there. This is a page that's not live, so that's why it doesn't look right there. Um, and then publish it when you're ready. So that's the easiest way. You just find the text area, double click into it, change the text. Now, sometimes text is or objects inside of Wix are grouped. You know they're grouped when you click on it and it says group right there. You don't have to ungroup them. There's often a reason why they were grouped. You just click again until you get into the text element. You always know you're in there when it says text. Then the same thing applies. Just double click and you're in there and you can make changes as needed. There's one more bit uh, or, or possible, uh, I guess, complexity. Uh, that you may want to take a look at or you might run into, excuse me, and that is layering. You might have layers on top of each other that, that and, and your text box is hidden. You can't click into it. So I've got this container box here that's over top. So when I click in here, it keeps going to this box design. I can't get in there. Now, I could just move this out of the way, but let's say it's a design element. I don't want that moved. So what we have to do is go into our layers panel. Let's get rid of that. As with Wix, as is often the case in Wix, there are multiple ways to get to the layers panel. So you can go to tools, layers, you see it pops up there. You can also go down here, this little layers icon, and you can see there's my container box. Well, where's, where's my text? Oftentimes it's just rolled up into this uh, parent level group. Remember we talked about groups. So, that's not it. Sometimes you have to do a little hunting to find the group. There it is. You can see it scrolled back up. Now, when you click on it over here in layers, you have this button that says edit text. I was using the shortcut of double clicking into all the other options. Obviously, when if you notice real quickly, when I single clicked on it, this edit text came up and I go to edit text and then I'm in there. That, that panel, that box that is over top of the... Uh, text will not interfere at this point. So those are three ways to edit text. There are probably a, a few other edge cases here, but if you want to know more, just put drop a comment here or reach out, reach out to us here at BizLadder. Thanks.